I'm Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today uh, for March Mohair Men's. I think that's what I decided on for the name, although that could still change, <laughs> but it works for now. So, in my last video about mohair, we dyed up some mohair and we dyed up some mohair for weaving, but we also dyed some locks. Now for this video, we're going to be carding some of those locks into art bats and we're also going to be spinning yarns. I'm going to be spinning two types of yarn. So we're going to spin some that are just straight from the locks, lock spun art yarn, you know, that sort of thing. And we're also going to spin some that's from the bats. Now because I am doing an art yarn, the bats are going to be fairly artsy. I'm not going to card them more than once. They're just going to be very loosely, um, loosely carded together. You know, once through the machine, they're not super incorporated. But these are the locks, and there's also some tease water locks that I dyed in the same batch mixed in here, so it's a bit of both, mohair and tease water. And then for what I'm going to be blending them with for the bats, I went through my stash of scraps and I picked out all sorts of little bits of BFL and Merino and whatever else was in there that are in a similar color palette. So that should work for making the art bats. So I'm gonna go set up my drum carter and let's get started.
right, so I am done with spinning the mohair and the mohair blend yarn. So let's talk about this one first. This one is the mohair blend yarn. And I made a huge mistake while spinning the singles, and that was that I spun the singles on my super flyer, which I have never spun singles on before because I only use it for plying until now. And uh, I didn't compensate for that, so the, sp the singles were incredibly loosely spun and kept coming apart while I was plying. As for plying, it's just a nylon thread. I was gonna use a more interesting thread instead of just this translucent one, but it turns out I'm out of thread, so, oh well. It did work for what I wanted it to do. I'm hoping after I wash this, it will um, gain a little bit more stability because I'm a little concerned it's just gonna fall apart on me if I try to unskein it. So yeah, there's that. Um, that said, it is quite soft, so if it is usable for anything, it'll be very, very soft and kind of funky. I like it. It's really hard to get the, sh the colors to show up right in this room, and I know it's because the lighting. I need to fiddle around my lighting settings a little bit more, see if I can find something a little bit better. I'm not sure if it's that I need them to be brighter or if I need a different color tone for the lights, so I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, I also did this. This is my two-ply from the locks. It's so soft, oh my god. Alright, uh, I just want to cuddle this one. So, <laughs> I really like how this one came out. Everything that I didn't like about this one, I love about this one. So, I spun the singles for this one on my Ashford Kiwi 3. And I just used all my normal standard settings. I didn't adjust anything. So, the largest ratio, I guess. I'm not very good at ratios, just to be clear. Um, I don't, I'm not a technical spinner. I don't really pay attention to that necessarily. So, yeah. So I got this spun up as two relatively identical bobbins. There was a little bit of tease water mixed in there, but for the most part, it's almost entirely mohair. And then I didn't really control it too much while drafting the single, so they would still be fluffy and they'd have little curly bits sticking off and lots of texture. And then when I two-plied them, it's a stable two-ply yarn, but it still has enough texture to be really interesting. So yeah, this one's done. I, I still have to wash both of these, but I'm not too concerned about it changing too much in the wash. Um, in my experience, this particular batch of mohair doesn't change too much when I wash it. So yeah, all of my spinning for the mohair project is done. So the next step would be for me to start weaving and crocheting with the yarns that I dyed and the yarns that I spun. So I'm gonna start getting that set up and you'll see all of that next week. But um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon. Mm -hmm.